Welcome to the Offshore Club's fun-filled, fact-filled, fast-paced blockbuster podcast, Roving with Rachel, coming to you straight from beautiful Belize, where the sun never sets on the good life at a great price. And now, here is your brand new BFF, Rachel Jensen. Rachel Jensen here with a very special guest, Mike Cobb. Mike is a well-known real estate developer within Latin America, has been working in this region for over 20 years at this point, and comes to you with a very special message about protecting your most important asset, which is yourself. Mike, why don't you tell us a little bit more about residencies abroad and, and who you're seeing obtaining residencies, and maybe perhaps any personal story you may have about residency. Yeah, sure, Rachel. Thank you. You know, it, it's one of those things where people people sometimes worry about all their stuff, right? That they're 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 putting their their assets into trusts, or they're or maybe they're securing it. They're they're buying gold, for example, or they take their stocks and bonds and they set up a family trust or an asset protection trust, and they secure that with a legal mechanism. But it's all stuff. It, it's all things that we as people have brought into existence, right? Or maybe we inherited some of it from our parents or whatever, but generally it's the work we do as people that produce these assets that we then protect in a structure of some kind. And the thing that many, many people fail to remember, it's the old story of the, the shoemaker's kids run barefoot, right? We, we, we just forget sometimes how important it is to take care of ourself. And the most important asset is the asset that created all of those other assets, us. You know, I, there's a lot of things going on, both politically throughout the United States and Canada. There are the health issues with COVID. There are many, many reasons why people are feeling upset, insecure, fearful in this moment. Man, many people are. And so if we have that fear and we want to do something about it, and that's really the key, wanting to do something about it. First of all, we have to know what to do, like what can we do, and then we actually have to do it. Well, I know you and your team, Rachel, have put together an incredible residency program in Panama. You make a very small investment. Uh, it's a little over $10,000. I think you've got some baby teak parcels that come in around $13,000, $14,000. You put on some legal fees, government fees, stuff like that. I, I, what, what's the all-in number right now, Rachel? I, I don't remember the exact number, but... Sure. Yeah, all in, it's about seventeen, eighteen thousand dollars $18,000 U.S., and that includes residency for one person, the primary applicant. But what's really neat about it as well, and in Panama, is they recognize family and extended yeah. family members. So you're able to add your parents as a dependent, which many countries don't offer. Right. And then you're also, of course, able to add your children up to 18 or 18 to 25 if they're enrolled in college. So, yeah, Panama is a really attractive place for residency right now. It is. And, and, and for people looking for that plan B, people who worry about what are they going to do if things continue on in the, in the direction that they don't like seeing, right? Many people are worried about that future contingency. Well, this residency, this second residency means that we can leave the country we're in, we can move to a new country, we can stay for as long as we want. We have the right and freedom to stay there for as long as we want. It's like a green card, right? I call it the Panamanian green card. And, and you know, the, I, I have my own residency, by the way. I lived in Nicaragua with my family for 14 years. I'm a Nicaraguan resident, so I feel really good. I sleep good at night, sleep well at night, I guess, because I know that if things really go in a direction I don't like, I have options. I've given myself that option. Uh, you too, Rachel. I think you, you did one in Panama. So I did. I did. And through the program specifically, I acquired Teak and through that Teak ownership was able to get the residency. And that was about four or five years ago. At this yeah. point now, I don't live in Panama. I actually live in Belize, but the residency there and was just so easy. It was such an affordable program. So figured out we might I might as well just do it, keep it in my back pocket. And if I ever move down to Panama, great. If not, well, at least it's still there. Right, you have it. You you have it. it, it it's it's peace of mind, and, and that's so important for folks. So uh, thank you for asking me about the residency. Uh, the one last thing I would just mention, and you can do the, tell the details on it. Uh, the uh, the residency is permanent, but you only have to go to Panama one day every what five years now? Six years. What? One day every one six day years every to six keep years. it. Right. So so easy to maintain as well. It doesn't mm -hmm. cost you anything after you have it. Uh, and then in fact the teak. When the teak matures in 25 years, you get a very nice return that that more than pays uh, what maybe four or five times what you what you paid for your residency. You get back at the harvest. So 
Uh, great program all around. So Rachel, thank you and your team for putting it together. And uh, you know, if people have any questions, how do they get a hold of us? Feel free to reach out to us. OSC at ECI Development is one of the best ways to get in touch with us. OSC at ecidevelopment.com. There'll also be contact information details below. And from there, you're able to reach out and get the details. But I think that thinking about yourself is probably one of the most important things you can do. You, your loved ones, your family members, especially now while there's so much uncertainty and reach out to us. There are many residency programs, but Panama is definitely the easiest, most affordable at this point today. And I, and I would just add, you've got some great resources. Uh, tell us about them because I mean that you don't have to reach out because you want to do it. You can reach out to learn more. What, what are those resources, Rachel? So we have a residency white paper where you're able to explore the different residency programs. In addition to that, we have a Panama handbook. So if you want to learn more about the country generally, uh, thirdly, we have a TEAK resource guide where if you want to learn more about the investment perspective and learn about the history of TEAK and why uh, we expect it to be a powerful market in the future. And then, of course, we have the program details, but we love to offer you complimentary resources so you feel comfortable with what it is you end up deciding to do. Yeah, Rachel, thank you. Again, if you want any of the resources, more information about how to get a second residency in Panama, OSC, Offshore Club, OSC at ecidevelopment.com. Thanks, Rachel. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. For more information on the Offshore Club or to contact Rachel Jensen, visit www.offshore.club today. www.offshore.club. That's www.offshore.club. See you next time at the Offshore Club.